Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on C sharp parallel dot for loop. Parallel dot for loop is part of data parallelism in C sharp. I have data parallelism video. You can check this with the link above. Now the parallel dot for loop. Uh, this is the start index. This is inclusive. This is the end index. This is exclusive and an action method. You can also have start index, end index, and action method where this parallel loop state is a structure which contains in information. This is a compiler generated structure. I'll have separate video on this. So let us see parallel dot four in action. Okay, so I'm here in a new folder. Let me open a command prompt. Let me create a .NET uh, console application. Okay, so it got created. Let me open this in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so I'm here in Visual Studio Code. Now, let me start the coding. So, dot four, and then I can do this. So, control dot. So, you see the namespace is required system dot trading dot tasks. It got added here now the start index zero let me do it twice the you can see int from inclusive to exclusive so it would be it will run two times comma and i need to pass an action so the action can be a method so let me have a method here Void for the sake of simplicity, let me name it method one. It would take okay, and let me print donate system here. Okay, so we can put it. Uh, I can put it say let me string interpolation. Let me just print i here. Okay, now I can pass method 1. Let me remove this or let me name it. I am finished. Okay, so now let me run it. Okay, so I can run it. You see, it came 1, 0, finished. As it is a parallel loop it is spawning up threads and thread execution is no it cannot happen sequentially like it, it cannot happen zero or one all the time it can happen one zero zero one so that depends if i run it once one more time let's see what happens see it this time it is zero one so let me run one more time see again one zero so it cannot be told beforehand how the thread, ex thread execution will complete now, beside uh, writing this like this, I can also write it in a delegate way. I can put it, say, uh, I, and then the delegate body. Okay. Here I can, uh, let me print it this way so that. We can differentiate so I'm printing and let me move system so I'm I'm passing a delegate inline delegate here in the parallel dot for method so uh, let me keep the one for our reference okay now let me print it thrice so let me clear the screen so that you can see you see it came with like 210 this order if I run it again it came with 021 so like as I told the order cannot be deleted beforehand 
we can also specify the action method here in another way let me control k control c so let me take parallel dot for uh, this is the index i'm passing let me make like and let me print it we don't need line termination semicolon when there is only single line in lambda so let me run this okay so it came like 0 1 2 3 very sequentially let's see what happens this time 2 3 1 0 so like the other one so this is the way you can specify uh, action method in parallel dot 4 so if you are required to have multi line definitely do multi line and in that case you need to specify the line termination should be like put it in a proper way yeah. so this is the so we can do several operation here so this is a nut cell uh, the parallel dot 4 in very simple form thank you for watching